while flying into a combat situation and hoisting people to safety is just another day at the office for members of the 83rd Expeditionary Rescue Squadron, there is no guarantee their patient will always be a person. That is why pararescue men are training how to pick up military working dogs should the need arise. They had a lot of new dogs that have never been on helicopters before, and most of us have never hoisted dogs before, so it's kind of an experiment with them to see how the dogs reacted and then us to get the training and figure out how we're going to do it before an actual mission. That way we don't have to improvise. The training also allows handlers to experience how their military working dogs will react should they need to catch a ride in a helicopter. We have, we have not done the, the helo training yet. We've, we've flown on uh, C-17, C-7, uh, C-130s, but uh, never, never once have they been hoisted up. So uh, I'm surprised that they're actually doing this well. So I didn't think he would, but he did pretty well. While treating dogs certainly isn't the norm for pararescuemen, it is a possibility they are now prepared for. My first deployment, I treated probably 10 dogs throughout the deployment. Uh, I never had to hoist them, but up here there's a chance if, they're, if they take shrapnel or they get shot or injured, um, we, we have to go get them too. They're part of the team. So. The PJs and all members of the 83rd ERQS want to assure everyone, no matter how many legs you may have, if you need them, they will be there. Air Force Staff Sergeant Sean Bryant, Bagram Airfield.